Hey students, Todd and Tony here with you again. Hey, we want to share just a worship song with you, and we want you to join us right where you are. Sing along with us. And then in just a few moments, Todd is going to be sharing a devotion with you for Recharge at 604. Hey, don't forget during this time, God is with you. He's right there beside you, and we're all in this together. We're praying for you. Don't forget that. Hey, sing along with us on this song, This Is Amazing Grace. Who breaks the power of sin and darkness? Whose love is mighty and so much stronger? The King of glory, the King above all kings. Sing it, who shakes? Who shakes the whole world with holy thunder? Who leaves us breathless and all in wonder? The King of glory. The King above all kings. This is amazing grace. This is unveiling love. Then you would take my place. Then you would bear my cross. You lay down your life. Then I would be saved. I sing for all that you've done for me. Who brings our chaos back into order? Who makes the orphan a son and daughter? The King of glory, the King of glory, who rules the nations with truth and justice, shines like the sun in our love is brilliant, the King of glory, the King above all kings. This is amazing grace, this is unfailing love, that you would take my place, that you would bear my cross, you lay down your life. I sing for all that you've done for me. Sing it worthy. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain. Worthy is the King who conquered the grave. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain. Worthy is the King who conquered the grave. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain. Worthy is the King who conquered the grave. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain. Worthy, worthy, worthy. All oh, this is amazing grace. This is unfailing love. That you would take my place. That you would bear my cross. all that you've done for me. And I hope you can sing about that amazing grace of Christ, of what he's done for you in dying on the cross. Hey, don't forget, we're praying for you every day. Todd and I are doing that, busy doing that. Man, I'm so proud of Todd and his playing the guitar and us just getting to sit and worship some together. Mm -hmm. Just know we're praying for you. And as you're coming and watching this live, just know that as two or three or more gather in the name of the Lord, there he is also. Even though it's over a live stream, even it's over a computer or your phone or your tablet, he is there and he knows what's going on in your life and he cares for you. Hey, we want you guys to know we love you, we're crazy about you, and we're here for you. If you need us, contact us in any way. In just a few moments, Todd's going to be back to share a devotional word with you. Mm -hmm. God bless. Talk to you in a bit. Oh, shame is a prison. It's cruel.
Hey, what's going on, Recharge Fam? It's Todd here. Uh, hey, I just want to let y'all know I miss y'all. Oh, I cannot wait for the days when we ever to get back and meet together as a group. Um, but right now, we're having to deal with this through uh, virtual. And let's get right into this devotional. So I want to talk to y'all about foundation. So what is a foundation? A foundation, well, your house pretty much probably has one. Because uh, a foundation is what... Because a foundation a house everything else is built upon it so if a foundation is solid there's a better chance for everything to come out correct or right whatever you want to call it a solid foundation supports the weight of a building itself and along with like people um, furniture whatever it may be inside your house it, it helps support it all and, you know it, it keeps the house stable and secure but without a solid foundation the building the house whatever it may be it's going to eventually fall down and life is like a building. And all it sounds strange, but hey, you you see that life is being built on something. Our lives are being built upon something. And in fact, you know, Jesus talks about this in Luke 6, 46, 49. It says, So when do you when do you keep calling me Lord, Lord, when you don't do what I say? I will show you what it's like when someone comes to me, listens to my teaching, and then follows it. It is like a person building a house who digs deep and lays the foundation on a solid rock. When the floodwaters rise and break against the house, it stands firm because it is well built. But anyone who hears and doesn't obey it is like a person who builds a house without a foundation. When the floods sweep down against the house, it will collapse in the heap of ruins. <laughs> so everyone's lives like a foundation, but all not all foundations are equal. Everyone puts hope and trust in something. For me in high school, I put my hope and trust in baseball. And whatever we put our hope and trust in, it becomes our foundation in our life. Some people build their foundations in money. Some, they believe that they have more money, lives will get better and more secure. Some people build their lives in possessions, trusting that, there's, that the stuff they have mean, the stuff that they have means more happiness. And people, and you know, a lot of times in students' lives, I like to build their lives upon popularity, thinking that if they can get more friends, they will never be on their own and live a great life. You know, this is just a few examples. The truth is, you can build your life on a number of things. Fame, grades, how cool you are, athletics, music, beauty, video games, shopping, sports, texting. I think you get the picture. And it gives us a question. What are you building your life on? You know, not I know. You know, not all those things are bad, but every one of them is temporary. You know, when a storm comes in our life, just like this COVID nineteen, well, they can all just go away. And here's the thing: if your life is built on just temporary things, the foundation not it isn't going to last. So again, we have to ask the question: What are we building our life on? We're called to build our lives on the rock, and that rock is Jesus. You know, sometimes we think life will be perfect when we, when we become Christians, when we start following Christ, and, and we won't make a mistake. But you know, when, but here's the thing. Storms are still going to come in your life, even when you're a follower of Christ. And in John 16, 33, it says this. Jesus told his disciples, Here on earth you will, you will have many trials and sorrows, but take heart because I have overcome the world. You know, that's what's happening right now. And you know, in this story, a storm will come, but the house stood firm because it was built on a firm foundation. But what does it mean to look like being built on a rock? What does it mean to look like having a foundation built upon a rock? As the scripture says. But you know, Jesus said in Luke 6, that building your house on a rock just simply means coming to Jesus, listening to his teaching and following it. And you know the re- the relationship has been has already been established. You just have to be you you just have to be claimed as God's child through baptism. You know the next step is learning what God's word says. Discipleship is what we call it. Putting yourself into a position where you hear God's word, whether it's worshiping, personal devotions, and group Bible studies. Prayer. Pray for understanding and wisdom as you seek God's word into practice. Then as you hear the words, look for your ways to live it out. Because you know, guys, there's more to being a follower of Christ than just simply saying, I know God, I know Jesus. No, Jesus wants us to live it out. 
And you know, it's not just, it's by faith that you've been saved. It's not just, a, it's not just okay, I said a prayer and I ain't going to do whatever I want. No, you still, Christ wants you to live out for Him. And you know, if you don't have a foundation, it's going to be hard to live out for Christ. Because being a Christian isn't easy. But you know, when we build that foundation, we can build upon it. And we can grow more and more and more daily. A lot of things, we don't like to do that. But simply, we like to focus ourselves on temporary foundations. <laughs> and then when stuff happens, when a storm comes in our lives and it takes away that stuff, we are quickly, we are quickly able to point a finger at God and we're saying, why? But you know, God hears us. And God wants to have a relationship with you. If you haven't, I mean, you don't have a relationship with Him, I, man, I pray that you, I would love to talk with you, and I pray that, that you come to know Him. You know, the thing is, guys, storms, they're going to come in your life. But if you're building a foundation upon Christ, those storms seem a lot less intimidating. You may get hurt, but your foundation is going to stand firm. You're going to take heart, and you're going to learn more and more what it means to build your life on Christ. And hey, to put into practice, do this. Write down one goal this week that will help you build a foundation that is upon Christ. Maybe it's praying for two minutes a day or, or spending 15 minutes in God's Word. It could, it could, it could mean something else. It, it, it could be something else entirely different, you know. But something that helps you grow a foundation. You know, the point of it is to either start or that if you're not building a foundation, to start building a foundation, and if you continue to build a foundation, keep on building on it weekly, daily. Because once you set this go, develop a plan and accomplish it. So hey guys, um, that's all I want to say right now. Uh, we're gonna be coming to you with devotionals every day, um, and you know um, it's different being here virtually. But you know, the gospel message is still the same. So, hey, let me pray for y'all. Now, dearly Father, we just come for you today, Lord. And just thank you for this beautiful day which you've given us, Lord. And Father, we just want to ask your blessings upon this. And Father, I just pray that we're able to come back and meet with you soon, Lord. And Father, I just pray that we can just be able to live the life you called us, Lord. Let us build a foundation of what you called us to do, Lord. And Father, I just pray that with any kids or anybody watching this video or struggling, Lord, Lord, I just pray that they know that you're with them. Father, I just pray that you're watching over them. And Father, I just pray that they can just tear down the walls, Lord. And Father, I just pray that they just draw near to you, Lord. Father, for Father, I just pray that during this time, Lord, that we know that you're giving us strength daily and you're with us always. Father, just let us go out and build disciples and make disciples, Lord. And just let us be able to be disciples of ourselves. Father, we just lift this thing up to you. And ask for your precious money, holy name. Amen. Grace and peace, guys.